It's the weekend and Tofu wakes up early. He goes to Tia and asks what they could do today. Good morning, Tia. Whoa, somebody is up early on a weekend. Mm, maybe we could utilize this time by planning a day out? Definitely, we can. How about visiting the zoo today? We will have plenty of time to explore. What do you think? That's a wonderful idea, Tia. Let's have breakfast quickly and leave. Hello friends, I am your zoo guide today. I will tell you about different kinds of animals as we go along. Are you guys excited for the zoo adventure? Yes, we are! So the zoo is divided into parts according to the habitat of animals. What does a habitat mean? A habitat is like a natural home to animals that provides them favourable conditions to survive. Just like we can survive in a safe place and not in a jungle or underwater. Oh, okay. We are at the terrestrial section of the zoo now. Oh, what is ter... terrestri... It's terrestrial tofu. What does it mean? The term terrestrial comes from the Latin word terra, which means land. Oh, I get it. Terrestrial animals are those who live on the land. Am I right? That's absolutely correct, young boy. Look around now. Oh, that's a lion. Mom, look, a deer is hiding behind the tree. Look at the giraffe's neck. Can I be tall like a giraffe when I grow up? Oh, and isn't that a zebra? It's so beautiful. See, there's a hippopotamus too. Generally, most of them have four legs so that they can walk on earth. Dogs and cats are also terrestrial animals. Since they are pet animals, we cannot keep them in the zoo. So these animals cannot go into the water? No, dear. This doesn't mean they can't go into the water at all. It simply means that these animals can't live in an aquatic environment as the only habitat for survival. Mm, what is an aquatic environment? Come, let me show you. Whoa! Now this is something cool. Wow! Look at that fish! It's huge! Now these are aquatic animals. They are designed to live inside the water and cannot survive on the land for too long. Water bodies are a home for these animals. There are giant fish like sharks, whales and dolphins to small animals like crabs, lobsters and other fish. Now look, that's a star-shaped fish. Can anyone tell me what do we call it? I know, that's a starfish. That's right. Oh look, it's an octopus. It has eight legs and that's why it's called an octopus. That is funny. What if we had eight legs? But how do aquatic animals breathe? I can't breathe underwater at all. Good question. Many marine animals like fish have special respiratory organ called gills. These organs extract dissolved oxygen from water and excrete carbon dioxide. What about those animals who don't have these special respiratory organs to breathe underwater for a long time? Well, nature has its own way of surprising us. Such animals have the ability to survive both on land and in water as well. These animals are known as the amphibians. 
Aren't these cold-blooded animals? They absolutely are. Toads, frogs, salamanders, etc. All these belong to the category of amphibians. They use special tactics to protect themselves. Some species create a foul odor to keep themselves safe, while some pretend to be dead when they detect danger. Wow, that's so smart! Do you want to know about a wiser category of animals? Yes, please! Well, arboreal animals spend most of their time on trees to protect themselves from danger as most predators tend to roam on the land. These animals perform most of their activities like eating or sleeping on trees. Like monkeys! Yes, like monkeys, koalas, etc. These animals mainly depend on leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds so generally they don't feel the need to roam on the land. That sounds adventurous. Look at that monkey swinging around on the branches. Yeah, looks like a lot of fun. Now we come to the last category of animals, the aerial animals. What are aerial animals? These animals have the ability to fly in the sky, such as birds. They spend most of their time flying in the air. Can anybody name a few more aerial animals other than birds? Bats! Flying squirrels! Good job kids! Flying insects also belong to this class. Now we have reached the end point of the zoo. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. Yay! This was fun, Tia, wasn't it? Oh yes, look, we utilized the Sunday morning. That's right, and I learned so much today about different kinds of animals. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, Join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.